Now what can I say about this little girl from Victoria? Well, a whole lot actually. For such a tiny girl, she sure does have a knack for creating a big sound. Growing up, she was forced into taking classical piano, but it wasn't until after high school where she began to fall in love with her keyboard. This, in turn, brought her a one-way ferry ticket over to Vancouver to study at the prestigious Capilano College. Okay, maybe prestigious is a strong word, but Cap sure does have an impressive music program. Dabbling into various genres and multiple instruments, including the accordion, she eventually graduated with a diploma in vocal jazz. But along the way, she didn't just stay in the classroom. Oh no, not our beloved Laura. She's much too talented for that. A great up-and-coming band by the name of Said the Whale took on Laura as their keyboardist. This gave her the opportunity to tour the country and gain some much-needed experience. But like I said before, she's much too talented to just stay in the background. In 2006, she recorded her first demo, which ultimately gave her two Island Music Award nominations, Female Artist of the Year and Song of the Year. Not bad for a first try. Her second demo, titled Picking Flowers, was recorded a year later, and two of those three songs were even featured on CBC Radio. But let's get back to Cap for a second. Not only did Laura gain knowledge in music, but she also met some very talented musicians that eventually became her bandmates. Andrew Braun, Greg Bevis, and Jeff... I'm having trouble with his last name, I'm thinking it's Reedlinger. But anyways, they all met while studying at school, and they joined their talented minds together to form a band in support of Laura's quirky, sensible music. On a side note, Greg actually isn't in the band anymore, but they do have a replacement by the name of Johnny Andrews, who actually plays drums for Tegan and Sarah. But back to Laura. In November 2008, Laura released her debut album, Sea of Stars, and kicked off her Western Canadian tour by playing to a packed crowd at the media club. Playing show after show after show, Laura has no end in sight, and the future looks very bright for this talented musician. With her songs already being featured on various radio stations, Laura is set to hit the national, if not international, stage in the coming years. When the eyes Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Laura Smith and Andrew Braun. Uh, so thank you guys for coming in, actually. Like, I really appreciate it. <coughs> well, Honestly. thank you for having us. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> it must have been a big change for you, Laura, coming from Victoria to Vancouver, even though it is one ferry ride away. How did you guys cope with that? It's a lot bigger, and it's a lot busier. I know, uh, I don't know, it was the interview you did with Eric Solomon, and he was saying how Vancouver is such a like laid back and chilled out atmosphere, but for me coming from Victoria, I find it the opposite. Like I feel <laughs> there's such a vibe of energy and people just wanting to go 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 all the time. Yeah. But living in North Vancouver, it's a little easier to hide from it. I yeah. Think. <laughs> Why Vancouver, Andrew? Because of school? Uh, eventually. No, I, I just came here because I when you grow up in the in the prairies. Either you stay in Winnipeg or you move to Vancouver or to Toronto, really. <laughs> Personally, I have a really hard time classifying music into certain genres. How do you guys uh, classify your own sound? I usually say indie pop. Indie pop. What does indie pop mean to you guys? Um, well, <laughs> I suppose our music spans a lot of, in a lot of ways, but it's generally pop. And I don't know, we're independent musicians. <laughs> I, I was looking on your MySpace and you classified it as J pop. What is that? Oh, that was mostly a joke. Okay. It's, it's Japanese pop, actually. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, I had no idea. <laughs>
Well, I guess you could qualify for Japanese. It could be because they like little upbeat kind of And you've got a Yamaha keyboard? Oh, yeah. Oh, they're just quite Japanese. Very Japanese. So you guys pretty much just, I, I ask I you a question, things, you don't have to know things, it's just, it's either one or the other, or a quick response, hence lightning round. So okay. are we a I mean, you can, is this a competition? Because I'll win. Uh, there's no <laughs> points in this, but I can add points. Let's do want. points. Okay. What's the one quality you admire from your bandmates? Ooh. Laura's great at taking care of business. Getting shit done. Okay. I would never do anything. I'd just be writing songs on my piano at home and no one would ever hear them. Andrew's really, really creative and I'll be writing a song and I can't for the life of me like think of what else needs to happen and he just does it. Uh, what's the one quality that bugs the hell out of you? <laughs> just <Bad> one. Advice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> I don't like it, A, when we have to stop for pee breaks on tour. <laughs> I just want to keep moving. You have a uh, strong bladder. I have a small bladder. You have a small bladder. Mm -hmm. Well, so does Greg, though. You guys both have to stop all the time. And um, <laughs> that's all. Oh, I can't think of anything. Like, really bad, except nice that five. I'm winning the lightning round. <laughs> Best show. Best show. Mm. We played a pretty good show in Winnipeg. We done better than that. Sure. With another yeah, mother. That was pretty good. Thanks so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thanks for having us yeah. and for all yeah. the hair and clothes and fanciness. <laughs> we get to keep these, right? Of course. Uh -huh. right? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the Ron and Tron soundboard. Stay tuned next month for another local indie band that I love and you will too. <laughs>